I think Kendra was surprised that she got caught. I think that she overestimated her IT background and thought she would be able to outsmart everyone. Watch this video and I'll be back to finish my thoughts. My number? Yep. Is it, is it happening with the one? Is there an infatuation there with the one? No. Nothing like that. Okay. But there's something like, what, you know, did he treat Lauren bad? I mean, um, I mean something serious went on for a while, right? Yeah. And it didn't start that way. But I'm sure they didn't. That's okay. Just start from the beginning. So they were dating and then they started, they broke up. So how did, how did it really start? Like, why did it start out? Did it start during when they were still dating? It did. So they treated you bad? But it, like it didn't, the first ones didn't start like with me. Okay. I don't say that. Those ones were like random or whatever. So somebody else started those, you don't yeah. know. Um, but then I like fed off of it. So. To understand this documentary, it's important to understand small town dynamics and also small town mentality. You have to remember that Kendra has an IT background, and given what we saw from all this, she's probably the baddest IT person that Beale City has ever seen. And I genuinely mean that. Keep in mind the police weren't able to figure this out. So you can imagine her behind the scenes acting like she's helping when she was really actually collecting data, watching all of these people run in circles, and even when it did land in the FBI's hands, it still took them a while to figure it all out. So in Kendra's defense, why would she think that she would get caught? For almost two years, she's been the one pulling the strings. So when the FBI showed up at her house and told her that they traced it back to her number, you can see her reaction. My number? My number? Then after that point, you see her staring off. Long, dramatic pauses, trying to concoct more lies, realizing that she was finally backed into a corner. 